Okay, it's uh, nine o'clock. Uh, meeting is called to order. Would y'all please rise for the invocation? Judge Walton, would you please deliver the uh, invocation? Join me in prayer. Please, Lord, we just thank you for this lovely day and for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us so generously. We just praise you and uh, give you alone the glory because you alone are worthy. And uh, we just thank you for the privilege that we have as Americans to uh, come together and participate uh, in our government. We praise you for that. We pray for our nation. We pray for its leaders. We're in big trouble, Lord, and just help us out. Uh, send us leaders of conscience and commitment and dedication. Uh, and who seek your wisdom. Lord, forgive us of our sins, and we just uh, give you all the praise and glory for all that you've done, especially for your son Jesus, in his name. Amen. Amen. Y'all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Join me in the Pledge of Texas. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Thank you. Bob, we have special presentations this morning. Judge Commissioners, we're here to celebrate the anniversaries for two employees. The first is Andrew Honecker, who's been with the Sheriff's Department for five years. Judge Commissioners, Andy started out in the jail and worked his way up, and now he's a sergeant on patrol, so I'm very proud of him. Very good. The next person that works for Judge Walton, it's Penny Wisen, and she is uh, celebrating 15 years of service. It's not 80. No. <laughs> Judge and commissioners, it's a real privilege for me to uh, have the opportunity to present this pen to Penny. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> uh, she has been with the district court for about 12, 13 years, total of 15 years of service in the county. and. Uh, she is what makes the district court run and makes people like me. So mm -hmm. uh, she does a great job for the citizens of this community, Penny. It's my pleasure to present this to you. Thank God bless you. Rob, would you please come forward? <laughs> I know you guys are busy, and I want to thank you for giving me a, a, just a moment to recognize Patrick Berry. Uh, Patrick has worked in the DA's office for five years, um, and in those five years, he's tried over 150 jury trials and has sat with me. Uh, and we've tried about, I think, nine murder cases together uh, in the last five years. Uh, in every one of those cases, the defendants were convicted, sentenced to uh, life or the practical equivalent. Uh, while he worked in the DA's office, he studied for and challenged the uh, board certification test for criminal law and is now uh, board certified in criminal law by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. And I think, as everyone knows, he is uh, now uh, working in the Wise County uh, DA's office. I think it's Wise and Jack County. And um, I uh, hate to see him go, but I'm happy for him and his family, and I know he'll do good work uh, there in Wise County. And uh, I want to present this plaque to you, Patrick. Sorry to see you go, Patrick. 
All right, the next, uh, it, it, does any citizen wish to make any comments about anything that's on the agenda? If so, the sheriff has forms for you. If you just raise your hand. Any citizen wish to make any comments about any agenda item? Seeing none, the next item is the consent agenda. Does any commissioner wish to pull anything off of the consent agenda? Yes, sir, Judge. I'd like to pull A1 off. Mary Burnett will explain that. Thank you, Mary. Uh, we've uh, pulled off A1 because it, the court hadn't had a chance to review those minutes, and we'll put them on next week's, uh, our next next uh, agenda. Uh, is any, anybody wish to pull anything else off? Hearing none, I will accept a motion to approve everything except A1 on the consent agenda. Motion to approve. Motion made by Commissioner Deaver. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Tout. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. One second. The uh, minutes uh, subdivision road and plants. Good morning, Judge Cochran. Commissioners, on the, the first agenda item, I'd like to hold a public hearing to consider and take appropriate action on the replat of, of lots 266R, 268R, and Block 1 in Bentwater, Lake Granbury, in Section 2. This replat involves a lot line adjustment between lots 267 and 266, resulting in increasing lot 266 by approximately 3,700 square feet, creating one and 15 thousandths of an acre <coughs> called lot 266R, and then combining the lots 267 and 268, creating a three and a quarter acre lot called 268R. This replat is located within the water quality in precinct four. Staff has reviewed this replat and recommends approval as presented. Okay, a public hearing is now open to consider and take a, uh, consider the replats of uh, 266R, 268R, Block 1, Bentwater on Lake Granbury, Section 2. Does anybody wish to make any comments at this time while the public hearing is open? Anyone? Okay, hearing none, uh, the public uh, hearing is now closed, and I'll accept a motion to approve the replat. So moved. Motion made by Commissioner Barry. I have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Tout. Any further discussion? Then all in favor? Uh -huh. Opposed? Motion carried. Judge, the next one is also a public hearing. It's to consider and take appropriate action on the replats of Lot 72R1 and 74R in Blue Branch Ranch. This proposal is transferring approximately 84 hundredths of an acre from lot 72R to lot 74, creating a three and 35 thousandths of an acre lot called 74R. And the remaining of the, the three, three acre, three 60, 674 thousandths of an acre is creating lot 72R1. The property is located within the road quarter district of precinct one. Staff also review this replat and recommends approval as presented. Okay, a public hearing is now <clears throat> open to consider the uh, replats of 72R1 and 74R in the Blue Branch Ranch edition. A a anyone wish to make any comments about this replat? Well, hearing none, a public hearing is now closed. I'll accept a motion to approve this replat. Motion. Motion made by Commissioner Deaver. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Tout. Any further discussion? And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Judge, the last one we have is uh, consider and take appropriate action on a final plat of Lot 2, Block 1 in the Cedar Canyon Estates. It's located at 6400 Windy Ridge Court. Uh, what this amounts to is it's a, what we have is a 45 and a half acre track that was recorded by Meets and Bounds. The owner is platting seven, just a little over seven acres uh, in the water quality district. 
Uh, it's in the Water Quality District of Fall Creek. It's located in Precinct 3. Staff has reviewed this final plat. It does follow all of our regulations as far as the platting requirements and makes a recommendation to approve as presented. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to accept this replat on lot two, block one, Cedar Canyon Estates at 6400 uh, Windy Ridge Court in Granbury, Texas. So moved. Thank you. Motion made by Commissioner Tout, seconded by Commissioner Berry. Any further discussion? Then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carried. Thank, Thank you, gotcha. you very much, Don. Budget and uh, finance, consider budget line item amendments. Judge and commissioners, I have no budget amendments today. Yay. All right, next item is consider payment of bills. Judge and commissioners, the total of these bills uh, come to $298,042.81. Uh, those are listed on your schedule of account payable, the register. Uh, we had to get these done earlier than normal, and so there are a couple of adjustments. One uh, is a payment to J.P. Morgan Chase Bank for $374.47. Uh, that should not be on there. We have received um, a credit toward that uh, account, and so there's no need to pay it. It's It's been credited. Uh, Constable Lee brought us that credit, so I'll be pulling that off and we'll void that particular item. And then um, after we had entered this for your consideration to Tyler Technologies, $54,000. Tone is uh, here. The district it. clerk, oh good. The district clerk uh, questioned why it should be $54,000 uh, because she had the understanding the contract price was uh, just over $43,000. Um, I have not received uh, clarification or an explanation of that. Um, if the district clerk wants to address the court, if, if she's received an explanation, that'll be fine. Uh, oh. going to hold that check or hold that at PO is what you're a voucher yes sir I think we need to remove it and uh, and and not pay it uh, unless and until those questions are answered good thank you Tona uh, is there any other things you need to go over on the bills Stanley uh, no sir the only other thing relates to the um, proposed bond issue the uh, payment to the Attorney General of three thousand five hundred dollars and um, We'll have uh, Jim Sabonis and Dan Culver here to address those questions. I'll make a motion we ratify paying the bills for the period listed, Judge. All right, I have a motion made by Commissioner Barry to have a second. With the exception of the uh, one that he asked the treasurer to pull that check and then what the district clerk talked about. All right. Do you have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Tout. Any further discussion on payment of the ratifying payment of the bills? Then all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carried. Next item is consider all matters incident, uh, that to the related to the issuance of and sale of Hood County Limited Tax Bond Series 2014, including the adoption of an order authorizing the issuance of, of such bond and obligating the levy of ad valorem taxes to pay the bond, approving a payment agent register agreement and a, an engagement letter of bond council. And judge and Commissioners, we have some good news this morning, and uh, Jim Sabonis of First Southwest is here to uh, present the results of the uh, uh, request for financing, and Dan Culver is here to answer any questions you might have about the uh, legal issues related to uh, this proposed debt of $3,500,000. I'd like to introduce uh, Jim Sabonis first to go over the results of the financing request. Thank you, Stan. Judge Commissioners. Let me hand out some background information for you. Hey, Stanley's already done that. Well, 
I'm glad to be here. It's been a long process, but we're here to talk about the phase two funding of the Natatorium Recreation Facility. We had a remainder $3.5 million of our authorized bonds um, that we competitively bid out on Thursday. I'm pleased to tell you that we received seven bids and the low bid was by Texas Independent Bank of 2.15% um, below what we had projected and well within what we had talked about. I want to say, and I'm going to walk you through this page by page, but um, part of the process as we went back from the last commissioner's court meeting I attended, we worked with Stan to look at where your financial position is, what your tax values are, and structure debt. And I think when you look at the plan of finance, you're going to be very pleased that through his um, creative, we're, this is going to have a minimum impact overall to the county. So um, in summary, um, we went forward with a two, we voted bonds to fund the, the recreation natatorium project. We discussed splitting that bond issue into two process to take advantage of the bank qualified rates. Um, we had a very successful first sale. Um, we, this was time to move forward with the second sale. We bid this out and as you can see, we had a wide variety of bidders and the bidders uh, did exactly what we had hoped for and very competitively um, bid this transaction. Um, in the packet I hand out, I'm just gonna walk through some of the key items. First page, you know, we have the table, of, I mean the schedule events. And this is something that really talks about a long process starting with the analysis of funding of this facility to authorizing bonds to coming up with a two-place um, finance. Um, in summary, if you approve this tonight, today, um, You'll actually assign some documents. Dan Culver, your bond counsel, will present them to the Attorney General. The Attorney General reprove, uh, reviews and approves all bond issues that we have. And we anticipate having a closing on April 22nd, at which time all the funds will be in, 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 the, in the county's control to move forward with construction. Uh, the second section I have is the um, term sheet that we bid out. We sent this to all the financial institutions that, that um, we know are interested and in buy. Um, tax exempt um, county bonds. Um, we talked to them, received questions. Stan did a great job answering any questions they had. As a result, uh, right behind that, you're gonna see the summary of bids that we received. We received uh, seven bids from uh, a variety of financial institutions. Uh, exactly as we anticipated, these are all the leading regional financial institutions. You know, the last transaction we did was a little higher par amount. We had more national interest because of that. Um, as I told you then, I thought we'd have just a fewer bidders because some of them would drop out on the size. But I'm very pleased on this $3.5 million size, we had seven bidders. And more importantly, we we're pleased with the winning bid and Texas Independent Bank bid 2.15%. Um, not only did they bid that at low rate, but it's callable um, anytime after 2.15 of 2015. Um, and that gives us a flexibility if we intend to do some road pass through bonds and we want to kind of look at our balance sheet, if we can do a refunding, you know, if we want to change how we work with the, the recreation center. So not only is it a low rate, but it gives us flexibility if we choose to call, restructure, or, or to do anything with it that we want. Um, behind that is actually the bid form that was submitted um, from Texas Independent Bank. 5% based on the principal amounts that we talked about. Um, we actually structured the principal amounts a little bit different. We still have a nine year amortization, but to kind of buffer the impact of the taxpayers, as you can see on the bid form, the years 2016 and 2017, we kind of adjusted the payments to help smooth out the schedule. And if you look at that, it doesn't make sense. But when you look at your overall debt picture, and I want you to look at what we have here, um, a title, it's a spreadsheet that is in um, landscape format called the Hood County 2013-2014 Plan of Finance. What you're gonna see here in these columns are our existing values that we have on taxable value, using very conservative 0% interest, 0% tax value growth. Um, we just assume that we stay flat. We have all our existing obligations, and then we detail the funding that we've done for the Recreation Center, both in phase one and phase two. And we, as you can see in column I, we have our new net general obligation debt. And what we've done is been able to keep that very flat. You can see as you move forward to next year in 2015-14, you're gonna pay about the same amount of debt service uh, within a rounding. Now it shows a very small impact, less than two tenths of a penny, 
but the reality is we try to keep it pretty low and so um, the impact would not be any more and, and so uh, by doing that um, adjustment slightly in those first two maturities allowed us to take advantage of the low amount of debt you have outstanding the rapid amortization and minimize the impact and in fact maybe offset any impact so my thought is that going forward for the next budget year you're in an excellent position uh, with little impact from this debt service so um, and then behind this we've actually got the numbers for the transaction um, that will actually be uh, presented to the Attorney General and approved and the amortization um, payment schedule that if you approve tonight and it's closed that it will be done so in summary it's the last phase and it completes the funding of the natatorium it's good to see a project from beginning initiation come to um, a, a process where we plan how to fund it. You know, we're very pleased and we think the plan worked exactly as hoped and embedded a very low cost for this for you. Um, I want to congratulate and thank uh, you for allowing us to be part of this, and especially give our personal thanks to Stan, who uh, you're very fortunate to be uh, your administrator here. He's a great uh, contact, tremendous assistance in doing the process. You know, when the investors talk to him, they have tremendous uh, respect for him and this county. So in summary, you know, I think um, from the day one when we came up with two-phase plan, uh, everything was taken quite exactly as we had talked about or exceeded it. Ultimately, that means that there's lower costs to the citizens of this county. As your financial advisor, we recommend approval. Uh, we, and we're very pleased to present this to you, and I'll answer any questions that you have. Does any, uh, any commissioner have any questions for Jim? The only question I have, Jim, is when you read the fine line, we talk about, you know, this last phase we're borrowing of the three and a half million, it may be a Dan question more than it is your question, but when you read the fine lines of all the financial contracts, it says we're supposed to use some of this money, a percentage of this money, within X amount of time. This last portion will not be used till 2015. Is that a problem, Dan? We went through that pretty detailed when we did our field tax diligence a couple weeks ago with, with Stan, and we t I talked to even with, with the YMCA to make sure they understood the timing, talked to your purchasing agent. guidelines. You basically have to spend the money within three years, but you have to spend, uh, commit 5% of the proceeds in the first six months. And I think you all have already spent, uh, you know, pretty much that on the first year because you bought the land and some things of that nature. Cost of issuance. On the 6.5. That's right. And then you've got your construction agreements, your contract manager at risk, all that's supposed to be coming here in the next few months. And that's going to obligate you to expend at least 5% of these proceeds. Okay. So, so we'll just go out, we'll just go back and forth in both funds is what Stan will do when he that, sets it up. That's right. Okay. okay. So the architect phase and all of that is that part of that. Okay. Yes. I'm just making sure that we follow the legality of the rules. Yes. Okay. Commissioners, let me, let me, I'm going to make a statement. I'm going to ask, um, your bond accounts confirm this. Three years is the guidelines that we have that we're not going to be subject to arbitrage. But arbitrage means that we could make more money investing it than we do um, by issuing it. We just rebate back to government. They don't want us to make money. Now, there are processes where if you go beyond three years, that we just have to report that we've gone beyond three years and show them if we have any excess earnings. The law's intention is so we don't fund projects and just use money to do investments. But there are, um, number of situations that allow us to actually go beyond the three years. We just have to report, um, file the appropriate reports and, and with the IRS from that perspective. Yeah, that, that's right. Um, but I guess I think my understanding is this facility is planned to be open in November 2005. So the three years is really not an issue. The, 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 the issue we focused on mostly is the 5% in the first six months mm -hmm. because they're in this process. But I think we're, we're comfortable that we're, we met that or will meet that requirement. That's fine. All right. All right, so I, I think, uh, does anybody else have any questions for either Dan or Jim? Then uh, I believe the only thing to consider is uh, to move to adopt an order authorizing the issuance of the sale of the Hood County Tax Limited 2000 uh, Series 2014 and approve all the matters. So is, do I have a motion to approve that order? So moved. Motion made by Commissioner Tout. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Deaver. Any further discussion? <clears throat> then all in favor? Aye. Opposed? 
Motion carried. Thank you very much. Thank you for letting us be part. We're very proud and we're thankful to represent you. I can't. I look forward to coming to the grand opening and actually uh, seeing this wonderful city benefit the community. Can you? Uh, I know for everybody's sake, uh, we we kind of went through this and we we kind of locked these amounts in right now because interest rates are I think are going up. Are you seeing that? Are, are, are you, Dan? Well. Um, it's, it's hard to have 100% accuracy, but the general belief is, and I think that we have a new Fed uh, Reserve Commissioner that have already indicated, made clear indication to the, uh, to the investment community that they're actually um, uh, kind of reducing their open market purpose, purchases. You know, we think that we see a slow upward movement in interest rates. It's their goal to actually move that process forward without disturbing the financial market. So when we had our plan um, to issue the debt, you had an approved project, you wanted to move forward. You know, some of the things that we talked about uh, with your staff and, and, and present to you as the commissioners is that we were in the lowest interest rate in history. You wanted to embed that, so you pay that over the nine years. Um, secondly, uh, that we split the issue, so we had bank qualified to make sure we had the lowest interest rates at those times. And, and uniquely, uh, along the lines, um, we actually sold our first issue probably at the very lowest interest rates in history. This is actually slid up slightly as you see that slow sl slide upward. So um, for the benefit of the public, you know, we, our goal would be to fund this, to keep low interest rates embedded now, uh, we, and to reduce interest rate risk from the project, and to realize that when you do contracts, it's a delicate situation because the county has to have con c funds to enter into contracts that they can pay them, but then there's a the time issue how quickly you, when you get started, and uh, you know, we believe that this plan of finance is the best way to low cost fund this project uh, over time. We're pleased to have this done and um, and move forward um, in that. But yeah, I think again, Judge Commissioners, we believe that in general, and this transaction rates are starting to slide upwards just a little bit, slowly but surely. Okay. Anybody have any other questions? Then I'll, all in favor? Uh, opposed? The motion carried. Thank you very much. Thank you. Miscellaneous, consider and take appropriate action to approve the payment in lieu of taxes uh, for the waiver for the uh, Granbury Housing Authority. Commissioner Precinct 4. Judge and Commissioners, uh, Nelda Robertson is the uh, uh, supervisor or that handles the Housing Authority, which is in my precinct, majority of the housing is. I don't believe Nelda's here this morning, but she's had an issue with a knee injury or something, but she's asked that we do this every year. We've done it since I've been on court. But because it is Granbury Housing Authority and it's a governmental agency, I believe I sent all that paperwork to your office and Mary. It just needs a signature that because it is a governmental housing that in lieu of taxes, we waive the taxes for the uh, ad valorem values of that. Uh, I'll uh, entertain a motion to allow the county judge to uh, uh, sign this waiver. So moved. Motion made by Commissioner Barry to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Deaver. Uh, any further discussion? Then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Consider and take appropriate action regarding the establishment of a sponsorship program for donations of the construction of the new animal control building and a separate account for the major donations directed to the new facility. Sheriff? Judge, commissioners, Sergeant Kelly would like to talk to you. <laughs> Good morning. Um, today I'd like to discuss the sponsorship program for the New Hood County Animal Control Facility. The sheriff's going to be handing out um, the program that I'm uh, proposing at this time. Back down just a little bit. Speak up. <laughs> Let Liam do the talking. Uh, no. Okay, the sponsorship program is five different levels. 
You can sponsor the Head County Animal Control with the diamond level, the platinum level, the gold level, the silver, silver level, and the bronze level. I'd like to start um, receiving donations as soon as possible. So um, we would like <coughs> an account set up to where when we do receive donations, the donations are put into that account line and that will go towards the new facility. What is the name of the account that you want on the checks? It, it would be to the Hood County Animal Control, but we would monitor any of the, if they were a diamond, platinum, gold, silver, or bronze, then it would go into this new account, and the new account is directed to the new facility. We'll still receive donations, um, general donations for the facility we're in now that we do, um, we receive donations monthly for general items. Um, these items would go directly to the new facility. Probably that count's gonna have to have a, a Hood County construction or animal control construction on it. That way it, Especially earmarked for that. Yeah, especially mm -hmm. earmarked for you, you, You're running this all through the treasurer's department, right? Yes. Stan and Kathy are making it. I mean, I know when we had our last animal control meeting, he he said that was possible as long as she and he mm -hmm. both uh, came up and they know about it and they get it coded right, I believe, for the right count. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. You comfortable with this? That's what we're just talking about. General ledger of those two banking accounts. Stanley? Well, there's no trouble to keep up with it on the books. We have, to, we have to accept at each court like a donation though, correct? Yes. I mean, that would be the smart thing to do. It's just like we did for the employee benefit. For the employee uh, health fair last week, they need to put on every agenda item so that we have a minute paper trail of it before it goes into that account as well. Don't you agree? And, and what we were hoping was for security, it would be better to put it into a separate bank account. And, and I think that's a question the treasurer needs to look into. Uh, okay. You get that treasure. And I'd also agree with that. It needs to be in a special earmarked account. I'd also like to um, have PayPal, PayPal linked um, to our Pet Finder account, our website, as well as our Facebook account, so people can have the opportunity to, if they're working during the day and they'd like to make a donation, to have it linked and it would go directly into that account. Um, and it would only be for those special items. I would suggest that's an, an item that needs to go through the IT department because you get into security and, and you know, once you start opening up our internet website to financial transactions, um, I wouldn't want to speak for Jackie. Uh, it may be possible. It may be fine. Uh, mm -hmm. But let's let's not uh, put him into a situation uh, without letting him have a chance to review the controls over there. Well, I'll entertain a motion that uh, to approve this. Uh, uh, sponsorship program depending on the working out of the details with the IT department, treasurer, and auditor. These are your five levels you're wanting to go after? Yes, they are. And I also wanted to let you all know that Family Graphics here in Hood County uh, approached me yesterday. I actually went to them last week and they called me yesterday. And they would like to sponsor Hood County Animal Control in donating all of the plaques and engraving uh, of the plaques for free. Excellent. Very good. On this uh, brick pavers, we discussed this the other day. Uh, what's your plan number for them? And how are you going to proceed on getting them in there and then maybe years later we have room for more? Sure. Um, Tim Wallace with McGee Architect said that there was room for 700 bricks. Um, I can say that we will be selling all 700 bricks. It may not be in the first month, the third month, but it's going to be ongoing. Um, what I'd like to do is sand in the bricks once they're engraved. Don't 
cement them in, sand them in, then I'll have blank bricks um, to where when I sell them, we can remove that brick and put an engraved brick in. So it won't look like a project that's half done. You'll have all 700 bricks in there and it will just be an ongoing um, Swap donation. Out. Mm -hmm. once, once they're all there, we permanently put them in there. Yes. yes. And then also on these donations, um, it's, a, it's not an annual where you have to pay $1,000 every year to keep your name above that kennel. It's a one-time fee and it's forever. It's the lifetime of that kennel. Okay, how many gold kennels, gold levels are you going to sell? The dog kennels, uh, we can sell up to 81, 80, it? it's 81 dogs and 42 cats. So I can sell a total of 123 Okay. gold and silver. Bro, uh, brick pavers, 700, platinum levels, it sky's the limit as, um, as well as diamond. Okay. Okay, entertain that motion. So moved. Motion made by Commissioner Deaver, seconded by Commissioner Berry to uh, approve a sponsorship program depending on the details being worked out with the treasurer and auditor and the IT department. Any further discussion? Then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you all very much. Consider and take appropriate action regarding a request from the treasurer to promote an employee to assistant treasurer CS7, uh, step six, treasurer. Good morning, judge commissioners. As you all probably have heard or know by now, I lost my assistant treasurer last week to retirement. The good news is I have someone who can step right in and fill her in her shoes, um, Steve Pittman is my, I would like for him to be my new assistant treasurer. He comes with a Bachelor of Science and uh, his major is in accounting. He is, in, he is a certified accountant. He's also a former auditor with Patillo, Brown and Hill who are now our, our current auditors for the county. So he comes with dual um, asset my office. What I would like to do, last October the court reevaluated a handful of the positions in the county that were assistants to different elected officials. Those assistants being that they had to act in the absence of that official. We did that with the previous assistant treasurer and I would simply like to move this individual into that slot that she left. Okay. Any anyone have any questions of uh, the treasurer about this? CS level is the same. Is that what you're telling us? Just the um, step is what you're trying to do. It would be. It would be um, CS seven step six. Is that where your assistant was? With CS seven. She was a seven, so I would like to start him at a six. So you're just doing the you're just following the protocol, and moving somebody with experience to that spot. To her slot. But the CS level didn't change. Your assistant, your assistant that left was already a CS seven. Is all I'm Correct. asking. Correct. Yes, sir. Motion to approve. Motion made by Commissioner Barry to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Tout. All in any further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. And judge, as a side note, at your convenience. I need to get him sworn in. Okay. Thank you. We, we can do that. Thank you, Kathy. Discuss and uh, take appropriate action on the request for the Hood County employees to pave the parking lot at Mission Granbury office. Mission Granbury will purchase and provide the materials. Uh, Judge, I'd like to table this motion. I, I'd requested uh, an opinion from uh, the county attorney and she is busy preparing for a a trial and she was not unable to provide an opinion. So I would like to table this until we, we are able to get an opinion from Ms. Caspar. Okay, I have a motion made by Commissioner Tout to table this uh, item. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Deaver. To, uh, any further discussion? Then all in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? Motion carried. All right, I believe that was the end of the agenda. So we are now adjourned. It is uh, 940.